And Katie, we had a couple days where it felt a little bit like fall, yes. but that won't be the case much longer. No, we'll see some more summer like more seasonal temperatures return, but no air quality alerts in place mm -hmm. for today with some much needed rain and cooler temperatures that rolled through the front range as of late. But this morning as we wake up, we're under a mostly clear sky over Winter Park. A little more cloud coverage still hanging with us over the Denver area, but plenty of sunshine expected through mid morning and early afternoon. High 50s right now, relative humidity falling, but still quite high. And as you can see, still picking up some moisture down south near Durango. Those showers will taper off here shortly. So dry conditions, Denver North and East were in the mid to high 50s. Greeley and Fort Collins, 40s right now near Berthoud Pass and Copper Mountain. So a nice cool start to our Saturday morning here across the state. Only 44 in Leadville right now with mid 50s over the eastern plains. Your metro area planner, expect the cloud coverage to hang with us until about 10 o'clock. Some peaks of sunshine until noon will be at 75 degrees. So really nice conditions out and about for the first half of the day. Low 80s for highs. You Usually this time of the year we see highs in the upper 80s in Denver, so slightly below seasonal normals. Into the mountains, another shot of seeing showers and thunderstorms later on this afternoon through early evening. Highs today up over about 10,000 feet near Leadville in the upper 60s. You head further west, low 70s there in Aspen and Gunnison down to Pagosa Springs and still quite warm out west in Grand Junction. Our storm outlook for today, we do again have the chance for widely scattered thunderstorms across the northeastern plains over the I-70 corridor out east to the border. It's good because as you can see from our most recent drought monitor, it has worsened here just north of Denver up over the I-25 corridor to the border. So we can take any little bit of precipitation that we will get here over the state. Here's what it looks like. Risk of severe weather is low here in town, but we could see a few of these cells produce some pockets of heavy rain and gusty winds and the strongest storms later on today, particularly over the northeastern plains. You can see north of Greeley could produce some hail. So later on this afternoon, right around three o'clock in Denver, good chance for seeing some wet weather roll through that will continue to make its way east through this evening. Chance for a few showers through dinner time, so just bring the rain jacket along if you're out and about later on tonight. Then early tomorrow morning, some lingering rain into the mountains, especially there near Aspen and Vail. And then as we get into the afternoon tomorrow here in town, it's going to be 80s for highs, and then another round of storms and showers are expected to pass through. Looking ahead at our 10-day forecast, some warmer than average temperatures are set to arrive Denver and south, especially as you head south into Texas, some big Big heat down there, but for us here across our super seven day forecast, a good chance for seeing thunderstorms each afternoon as we round out the weekend and start the week. Mid to high 80s Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. By Thursday and Friday, we'll start to warm up and dry back out back to highs in the 90s, which is slightly above seasonal normals for this time of the year.